Um, we get this question a lot mm -hmm. and various formats. And I wanted to address it. So, that, so we got an email recently basically asking, would you consider adding Skowhegan to your weather map display? We have two times the population of Millinocket. And That's I've got a great shot yes, of you. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen yeah. you look better. Yeah, I agree. I think it's one of my better <laughs> screenshots. Uh, and so I've gotten this before, like kind of how come you're choosing this right. town what over ends there? Up on the map. And I want to be clear on how this works okay. and like why our maps look the way they do. So the way we, we select or use data is uh, from something called an ASOS. So an ASOS is an automated temperature station. It doesn't come with the dog. But this is the example given on uh, NOAA's website. And so it's uh, the same instruments. We have thermometers. It does um, dew point. It does wind, so it's an anemometer as well. And they're uh, a certain distance off the ground. It's usually two meters off the ground. And you've got a shed so that it doesn't get impacted by sunlight, and so it's a high caliber of temperature uh, and wind data. And so we don't choose where those go. They're chosen by a combination of uh, the National Weather Service and the FAA. And so this map here is showing you where there are official ASOS stations in the state. Um, and if we kind of hover over them, you can see that we've got some in Augusta, Lewiston, Portland, the places that you see on our map. And so mm -hmm. those are the ones that we have on a temperature map because they're consistent um, reliable temperature readings, and they're all the same instrument. Mm -hmm. And so now there are people with thermometers in their backyards, and there are some that you can get online, but we can't really fairly compare that to official ASOS stations because it wouldn't it wouldn't really Using compute the same well. metric. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. similarly, like for a while, Lewiston's temperature data was down, and I, I actually got I think all, it was all the way to the Chamber of Commerce that emailed me and said, "Why are you, have you removed Lewiston? We haven't." it's that the station is down. So when you see it blank, we're waiting for the FAA to repair it. Bring that so back. it's not a choice of cities that we like or don't like or think are important or not important. It's where is the data consistently official. Yeah. That's it. So you'll take weather watchers, but yes. I mean, you take it with a grain of salt based on their yeah. measurements. Yeah, and we have a map where we show kind of more in-depth weather watcher type, like a Gunkwit, for example, is one of those. And I know that thermometer runs a little warm. That's fine if we've got You're time to talk about it, right. but day to day, we're going to show, you know, the ones that we know are official and are going to be relatively um, accurate. So it's, it is not personal. It's not about your town one way or another. I do appreciate Skowhegan coming after Millinocket like that. Yeah, it was yeah. a pretty, ready for uh, pretty violent attack, but uh, <laughs> fair enough. They don't know they have an answer at least. <laughs> All right, Keith.